Welcome back everybody, my name is Ultimar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play Playscape Torment 2. Playscape? Planescape, I should say. Uh, as I logged in, Nordum told me he had leveled up, so we're going to do that really quickly. He is now a level 10 fighter, he gained 3 and 2 hit points respectively, and his fighting skills have improved, so excellent. Good job, Nordum. Anybody else up a level? No, 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 no. Alright, excellent. So. As you'll recall last time, we uh, had escaped Bator and Outlands, I guess. And we are now back at Cursed, but you may notice that bad things have happened to Cursed. It would appear to be gone. There's nobody around, there's a couple ruins. So let's go uh, see what's going on over here. There are the gate heads. As you approach, the rotting heads on the gate begin to speak to you chanting words back and forth between themselves to form coherent sentences. Gone, gone, lost to the betrayer, lost to the light. What happened to the town? Gone on the wind, swept on a tide of evil. Through the gate, gone, gone, the town, gone, lost to its own hatred. Through the gate, into the red prison, the prison plain, Carcerai. I'm gonna say, Carcerai, tell me about Carcerai. The prison plain, chaos, evil, worlds within worlds, orbs within orbs, strung out like a mal or strung out like malign pearls in the skies. The red prison, doom of titans and gods alike. What happened to you? Betrayed, despised, framed, punished, executed, made an example of, hung here by enemies, lost, lost, lost. Is it just me, or are there are far too many talking disembodied heads around these days? The heads pause, they look at each other for a moment, and then back at you, they hang shamefully from the gate. Alright, what happened to Cursed? Gone on the way. Okay, so. Um, do you have any idea how to get there or get it back here? Through the gate, into the prison. No return from the prison. No return. Go through the gate. Go through the gate. Your destiny awaits you there. What do you know about my destiny? My the Deva awaits you. The heads fall silent. They do not react to further questions. Alright, I'm gonna move my chair a little bit. It is in a very uncomfortable position. Alright. My back was like weirdly distorted trying to do this. Oops. All right. Thanks for the update. Go away. I know where the portal is. It's right there. Right. I'm just gonna quickly look around. I don't see Stop. anything going on though. Oh, I do remember. There is something. You'll notice that there is a giant demon there that we can fight. I'm going to uh, just casually. No, go away. I know that the portal's there. One of the minor annoyances of the game is that it does that kind of stuff. So you'll see that there's a demon. The fiend from Mordor's box is just chilling here. I forgot about him. So let's start off this particular fight with some... Fire? No, not so much. Just force missiles. No, no, okay, never mind. I can't just launch them past the rock where I can clearly see the monster. I have to do this carefully. I'm going to use you three. You're going to stand back. You, of course, will be standing back. And I'm you're going to stand back. And you're going to go draw the monster out. Hey, buddy. Let's go. No, 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 no. Back here. All right. Let's kill this thing. Apparently, I remember this thing being pretty tough. Ooh, Dak on said. And so is, uh, Valor. Alright, let's see if we can bring someone back to life. Actually, let's see if we can get two people back to life. Um, pause, pause, let me pause. I need to heal Mort. He can't die too. I've already lost enough people. I now remember why I didn't like fighting this monster. He is really, really strong. Let's give him a claw charm so that he can resist some damage. And we're going to pause. You're going to fight. And then you're going to go fight. And you are going to raise up the other guy. Yes, the Baylor is back to life. We're going to give him a claw charm. Or a blood charm, I should say. Do I have any other 
good charms kicking around. Oh, good, I have some heart charms. Those are pretty awesome. No, don't hit him. Alright, now... We need to heal, uh, heal up more some more. So let's give him a clot charm. And do I have any more blood charms? No. Just clot charms. Do I have any heart charms? I do have some heart charms. Let's give him one of those. Harder than the end boss of the game. And more force missiles. Oh my god, Mort's almost dead again. Mort, you can't die, I need you to stay alive. Just die. Please die. Oh, does he have his final judgment on, right? What happened to his plus three weapon? Is it still on the ground? Yes, Heart Grinder's on the ground. Okay, because Heart Grinder's a plus three weapon. Might be able to do a little bit more to this creature of death. Okay. Now go. And what else do I got left for spells? Magic missiles, I guess? More still got decent life, surprisingly. Would you just die already? I was mortared so much life. Oh well, I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, ball lightning, I guess. You might notice that I didn't bother to uh, get Nordum to keep firing his stuff. His weapon is ineffective against this guy, so there's no real point. Also, it has way too much hit points. Way too many hit points, I should say. Maybe one day we'll win. There we go. Ha! Huh. 500,000 experience. That's actually a hell of a lot of experience. I'm not sure how Mort survived that. He actually got more hit points out of it than he lost. I find that kind of weird, but... Oh, well. Uh, can I rest here? Of course not. Alright. We're gonna go to Karsarai in this video as well. Just because that's a relatively short fight. Well, it was a hard fight, but relatively short. Oh, crap. I think I forgot something there. Uh, we're gonna look at the other save. Please tell me there's not a safe. Oh, yes. Go away. We didn't grab the loot that we dropped, or his loot for that matter. Uh, he drops the Ages of Torment. I didn't bother to check. It is a really nice ring. Plus three armor class, uh, plus three base hit points, or plus 15 base hit points, and plus three constitution. It is going to go to our resident ass kicker, Valor, I think. Or should I give it to Dacon? Dacon's already got a pretty decent armor class. If we give him this, it'd be negative five. That makes him kind of tanky. So I can do negative three or negative five. I think we're going to do the negative five. I wonder when his Zerth blade up, or, uh, levels up again. Did anybody gain a level? Off of that massive amount of experience we got? Nope. Alright, fair enough. So make sure you pick up the Aegis of Torment if you uh, get it. Or Aegis, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Oh, right, go away. I know how to get to the Karsarai. Stop it. Alright, back to the video.
Where would they get food from on this plane? I'm pretty sure everybody would starve to death, like, really quickly. Okay, so we're gonna pause. Quick save. Although combat music is still going on, let's talk to Barog. You see a mousy man with an innocent face and tears streaming down his cheeks. He's trapped underneath a wagon and it seems to be crushing the light from him slowly. His eyes rise to you in pain to peel. Please mate, gotta get this thing off me, I can't die here. Alright, I'll get it off. Wait, is, is that other fellow still trapped on the other side? He's still there. You, you have to find a way to save him too. Better him than me. I think he was the mayor of this burg or whatever they have here. It's the burger, you little fool. He turns his attention to you. I still command the guards of Cursed. I can inspire them, aid them, slow the tide of monsters that stands between you and the Deva. Free me and your task shall be easier. Free him and you gain nothing. You gain nothing by freeing me, I confess to that, but surely the tide of goodness will swing. If you save me without thought of gain, better still to save us both. How about if I lift this off of both of you? My companions and I can do it if we throw ourselves into it. You and your companions gather around the cart and with a concentrated effort manage to lift the cart in such a way that both of those trapped underneath can wriggle out. My thanks, human. I go now to the walls to aid my guards. My shitty shall not perish. He gives you a crooked smile. I do not envy the conflict with this deva. He is a fearsome opponent. Here, take this, it may help. He crawls up as you heave the wagon aside. My thanks, mate. I've had enough of this bird. I'm back to Mount Celestia. I hope your good deeds stand you in good stead wherever you're going. He gazes off towards the Deva standing on the balcony. I can't believe I came here to see that. Good intentions and all that. The dump caretaker says, sorry, dump caretaker says, a scuffy old man who reeks the garbage hails you. Stranger, bide a moment. I must tell you what has happened to this place. What happened? We already know who he is. Calamity awaits you, stranger. The city will be destroyed unless the David can be defeated. Unless the town can return to the Outlands, then all is lost for everybody. We are in Karsarai, where not even the Titans can escape. Should you require resting, seek the old barracks or the distillery. Now take this, for it can aid you. He turns and flees into the chaos behind him. That was odd. What did they give us? We got a scroll of Meteor Storm Bombardment and a scroll of Death Bolt. Death Bolt is a level 8 spell, and so is Meteor Storm. As you may know, oh, we can actually learn new spells. Neat. Let's get another magic missile, just because it's awesome. And we're going to grab a Black Barb Curse. We're actually going to get two of those. We're going to grab Elysium's Tears. No level 7 spells yet, though. We have Acid Storm, Stygian Ice Storm, and uh, Blade Storm, whenever we get to them. Okay, so, let's quick save. There's much to do in, well, not a huge amount to do, but there is some stuff to do in this town. We have to save these people. Charge. We're gonna save the civilians. And we got some 225,000 experience for doing so. We didn't save all of them. A couple of them bit the dust. We're gonna steal their loot. Because why not? They're not using it, that's for sure. Although we don't really need it anymore either. The only thing we really need is... Uh... Like magical items and stuff like that. Alright. But we gained a level, so let's see what we got. Spell memorization increase, one characteristic point, one hit point, blah blah blah. Let's grab a... I don't know, constitution, I guess? Yeah, why not? Um, I am going to oops, take off that one eye that we have, the one that gives us charisma, and we get resistances, but minus one wisdom. Oh, it's cursed, I can't take it off, can I? I wonder if I've ever removed first spell. Oh, maybe I can't remove it because I need to put another eye in there. Yeah, that's what it is. What the hell? How did she die? Where did she die? I didn't even notice her die. That's not good. Oh, what well, we have raised dead for that particular reason. She must have died uh, fighting those demons. I didn't even notice that she died. That's bad. Oh, there's all of her junk on the ground. Hmm. Whoopsies. Put your earrings back on. How are you doing on spells? Have you memorized your maximum? Yep. 
Alright then. We really need to find the distillery. It's, uh... Or the barracks, other one. We'll get to it in a second here. Your verbal skills are quite potent. Your verbal skills are quite potent. I should have you spend some time at the brothel when we get back. <laughs> Mort wants to go there. Fair enough. Um, do I have anything to heal her with? I guess I can claw charm her for now. Oh. Just so she doesn't immediately drop dead. Alright, so... We're gonna continue on. We don't want Fall to go into that fight. Good god, please let me fight them. That one is kind of beefy now that he has that ring. Oh, he's not dead. Come back here. Hey. Hey, whoa. Who are you? Why are you fighting me? I don't care who you are. Die. Don't attack me. This woman can only stare at you. You saved me. Thank you so much. I'd be dead or worse without you. She opens her arms and moves to embrace you. I'm gonna pull her close and kiss her. As she makes a hug you, you wrap her arms around her and place your lips on hers. She flinches slightly and gently works herself out of your grasp. Gives you a slight, distraught, and nervous smile. Oh, farewell, stranger, and thank you. I, I shall not refer your kindness. Farewell. It was totally worth it. <laughs> That's how I roll. That's how we roll here in the Shire. Alright, who gained a level? Dakon gained a level. Saving throws. Spell memorization. We never actually bought him that many spells. Mort has gotten a little bit better at fighting too, and so has uh, Valor. But nobody else gained the level. All right. Now where are we off to? Oh, there's still that dude alive. Hey, you. You should probably not be alive anymore. What are these guys even fighting? Oh, demons! I see. Let's help him out. No, Fall from Grace, you do not want to be in melee combat. Let the real people, the real fighters handle this problem. What the hell was that? There was a mage up there. Alright, let's kill the thug first because it's just being irritating. And then we'll kill the demon. Now, as for mages, mages are his specialty. So they don't have a lot of spells. All I do is a bunch of spells. Never mind. You wanna dance? You having a giggle, mate? You can play magic -y. I might have overdone it a little. But he's dead, so that's the important part, I guess. Right then, uh, we really, really need to find somewhere to rest. And I don't remember for the life of me. It's another demon. Let's ignore it if we can. I don't think we have to go that way, so. Yeah, we're gonna fight it. Okay. Not fall from grace. Oh my god, there's more of them. Okay, well that one died pretty quickly. Let's kill this one then. Those ones are 14,000 experience? Wow. Alright, let's kill all of them. I'm cool with killing a bunch of demons. Alright, let's go up to the warehouse. I think it's just up here. Yes, it is. Alright. I wonder if we can rest in there. Come on, let's go talk to him. Joe Jog says, This large guardsman is bellowing orders to civilians gathered around him. He glares at you through the slits of his helm. As you interrupt him, What do you want, Piker, and make it quick before we get to work in here? 
What's going on here? What's it look like, you sod? We're about to loot this warehouse. You want in on the action or not? Because this ain't going to be some sorry ass disorderly mess. We're doing it right, and I'm giving the orders. If we calm things down, it'll help the town slide back into the Outlands. Once Cursed is wholly overrun with monsters, how long do you think you'll live to enjoy the spoils of your looting? But, ah, uh, hells, you're right. He shouts to the looters who have gathered around him. Right, you heard the man. Let's get going. And if anyone speaks of this, if we get the town slid back, you're dead. Now let's go. Move. He turns to you again. And as for you, you got a better brain on your shoulders than it looks. Good man. Thank you. They all went into the warehouse anyways. Oh my god, please let me rest in here. Can I rest? What do you mean it's too... We're in a warehouse. It's perfectly safe. Let's go talk to Ebb Creek Knees. Can I rest here, Ebb? You see a slightly stooped older man with a full gray beard and a lion's mane of gray hair. He wears a couple of shoulder guards as armor, and he's holding a helmet. He smokes a pipe and carries a pouch of tobacco about his waist. He looks pretty strong, but he's a little plump, and also appears to have some sort of breathing trouble. He appears to be the leader of the group gathered here. Greetings, Cutter, and maybe you better explain what you're doing in here. There's a lot of chaos going around the town, and I'm seeking allies and stamping it out. We seek allies against the chaos, yet we seek to increase the chaos, to overthrow the old order, to ensure that the old schemes do not rise again. It is our job, after all. Why would you want to increase the chaos? The town's already in Karsarai, and now the citizens are being devoured. When people see that their leaders have failed them, chances are good they'll crush the power structures that they've repressed them, and make something new, something beautiful. We're gonna help them. Oh, so you're gonna help them fight the fiends, then? His self-assured exterior slips for a moment. What do you mean? What I mean is that while you've been plotting to overthrow the government, evil has come to curse and is currently destroying what's left of the city. But we must do something. All our work will be for naught if they're all dead. Here, take this. He turns to his brethren. We must go or all our work will be for naught. Come now. He races for the door. Good luck. From grace to be found attractive by the male sex of over 321,423 separate species. Give or take five. <laughs> oh. Does that include Modrons? You are quite the tease. I am no longer able to answer that question. I do not know. Oh, Grace. I'm gone. You're flirting with a robot cube. That's just kind of weird, actually. Now that I consider it. I'm going to quick save it one second here. I just need to tab out for one sec. There was a blinky that was annoying me on my other screen. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, there's another demon out here. Of course there is. You're not a tank. Stop tanking. I mean, of all the people that should take damage, the nameless one is the most likely candidate because he can take all the hits and not die. He just goes back to life. We're not going to bother with this kind of loot. It's just pointless. Hey, stop. Just come die. We'll take out some more demons. Alright, so... Where are we at? Uh, we need to get to the barracks somehow, and I don't remember where it is. There's gotta be a barracks right here somewhere, right? Didn't they kill that mage already? Hey! Hey, you up there, stop it! I already killed you once. I guess I'll do it again. That'll teach you. That'll learn you a lesson. Oh god, there's another huge demon there. Um, we need to try and get out of here and find the barracks. I think it's. I should have no idea where the barracks is. Um, I wonder if I can just run past them. Hey, there's a building there. Let's go see if that's the barracks. That might be the barracks, actually. Or at least the distillery. I'm good with either one. I need to rest really badly. Oh, it is the distillery. Nice. Damn stupid chaotic people. Stop it. You're making this town suck. Hello, distiller. I'm gonna rest in your building. Oh god, yes. Now I'm going to let Fall from Grace do her healing thing. And we're going to rest one more time. Well, the Mort has just so many hit points. I wonder if that's a bug or something. Q. 
Keep healing. Alright, then I'll do it myself. Almost all back up to full. Let's just keep going. So, this game will definitely be done by the time Pillars of Eternity comes out in exactly one week from today. So, so excited for that game, guys. You have no idea. Well, you might have some idea if you're just as excited as I am. I've been following it diligently. I have not played the beta for it, so I'm going to be doing a blind playthrough. I didn't want to spoil anything or ruin any of the awesome story. I want to go into it Done. like a baby, strolling into the word world for the first time, seeing how it goes, possibly dying horribly. We'll see. Oops. Where's my whole group? There we go. All right, let's save. Let's go fight that demon. Oh, there's more demons out here. Greliths. Just wipe it out. It's only got 14. It's worth 14,000 experience. Alright. Now, we need to kill this thing. So, you, you, you. We'll fight it. You're gonna stand over here. Is that mage alive again? Yes. Oh, so it just comes back to life. I gotcha. That bitch shot me with a magic missile. I'm gonna Elysium's Tears you to death again. I might have overdone it again. That's okay though, it deserved it. Can you even hit that fall? Or not fall. Oh, that's not good. That's a big cru- well, it's not a big creature, but a tough creature. But I don't think that he can kill on his own. We're off to a great start. You guys run. Run now. Oh, it's leaving. Good. Eat a magic missile before you go, jerk. I'm busy. Alright, we killed one of the demons. Which means we have another one to go. Basically, if Mort can tank while well, everyone else does damage, that's pretty much all I need him to do. Oh, gold ring. What a worthless piece of junk. Alright, select all characters, we're moving on. Um, there's a couple more things we need to do in this town before we go fight Trius. First of all, we have to stop this particular thing. The sour-faced little man raises an eyebrow as you approach. He speaks in the tone of an overfed, arrogant nobleman. Mind you, Sir Al, that you're interrupting the official process and watch your words carefully. I'm a powerful magistrate here, and would hate for you to share this man's fate. He indicates the official about to be executed. If you execute him, it'll add to the chaos that threw this town into Karsarai in the first place. Put an end to all this madness, so we can get the curse back to where it belongs, before we're all killed. The judge furrows his brows, forming a bushy V over his eyes. He looks to you, then the official, and then to you again. Both clever and wise are your swaying words, sir, and I thank you for your timely aid. It is well appreciated by this town as well as the accursed or accused. There shall be no more hasty executions. Guards, release the man. And we got a ton more experience again. It's kind of funny because at the end of the game we just get boatloads of experience. Especially a little bit later on. It gets actually rather insane. Anybody else close to a level? He's almost up a fighter level, which is good. And he's almost up a... Mage level, also good. And now we're pretty much closing in on the end of the uh, the town itself. Curse gone, or this is Carcerai, I guess, technically now. Yeah, we'll kill you too. I doesn't afraid of some stupid demon. Although there is a lot of loot on the ground. I think we're going up to this. What's this building? Oh, that's the barracks. Okay, we don't need to do anything in the barracks. It's just a place you can rest and sleep if you need to. Oh, damn it, a Greleth. Hey, come. Really? How many mages are up on top of this building? You know what? Stay dead!
Where's my team? Oh, okay, stop going that far up. If you guys get killed by demons, I'm gonna be super, super unhappy. Can I get up to this roof? I wanna see if the mage had any loot. No, he can't. Okay. Fair enough. Um. Alright, so we're gonna keep going up a little bit. Let's talk to the citizens. No, what are you doing? Get back here. What was that? You shot me with magic missiles again. Oh, somebody died. Oh, I guess we missed. You can actually talk the citizens down, but I think we're busy fighting demons, so it doesn't really matter right now. Oh, there is another mage up there. Of course there is. Hermit, you see a dirty man hunched and crowded with age and darkness. His lank greasy hair flies out from his shoulders as he looks around. When he spies you, he puts out, Kai's the caretaker told me you'd be along. He done a fine job of weakening him. The town's chaos is subsiding, and his plan ain't working so well. Head up and finish the job. How do you know this? I can feel him up there, waxing and waning like a burning moon. I can hear him wondering when you will come. He aches for the confrontation. He shall have it soon, but not yet. Before you go, will you accept the blessing of this old man? He might stand you in good stead against the Deva, and whatever horrors you might face. Would you like me to heal you? Probably. I guess so. Um. Sure. Who needs my menstruations? I do. There, anyone else? Why not get everybody? That's it. Everyone's good now. Now, you interrupted my magic missile. And so you're gonna take more of them. It's a tougher mage. He's not dying to magic missiles. Ha! Alright. What the hell is that thing? Well, it's dead, whatever it is, but still. Super creepy looking thing. So we missed the citizen one. It's worth 150,000 experience, I believe, if I remember correctly. I think the demons come endlessly, so we're just gonna leave. Get inside the building. Alright, so we're now. The hell is that thing? Okay, we're, so we're gonna fight this fight. And then we're gonna end the video. Oh, they're pretty easy kill. They're just creepy looking. Okay, so, we're gonna end the video here. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna finish Trius off. And hopefully, begin the final dungeon of the game. So, I will see you guys then.